Hello, how's everybody today? Today's video is going to be about uh, the results of my ancestry DNA. Now, I've had my results for a while, but I just had my father's grand, and they came back. And I'm going to do a comparison of a, the two of us. I know he's my father because, I mean, I've known it all my life, and not only that, ancestry confirmed that he's, his relationship is my father. I'm going to tell you my results first, and then I'm going to compare his results to my results. So, let's get started. We've got the page pulled up. Okay, full ethnicity estimate. Okay, minus 2% Central Asia. Now that includes all the stands. Pakistan, Afghanistan, all them stands. I can't even pronounce most of them. But uh, the other part is my DNA is 98% Europe, which that's not really surprising. It's just the breakdown of that 98% that was kind of uh, weird. Okay. I'm 83% Great Britain. Out of the 98, I'm 83% Great Britain. Now, Great Britain encompasses England, Scotland, Wales. It's also found in Ireland, France, Germany, Belgium, Denmark, Netherlands, Switzerland, Austria, Austria and Italy. Now, when I scroll down, it is telling me that how Mary compares to the typical per person native to the Great Britain region. Mary is 83%. Now, the typical person native to the region, theirs usually runs about 60%. So, I'm like 23 points ahead of that. That's, that's just kind of really weird. If you knew my history, my family history, I mean, I have gone and did all of the branches, but my father's family, they date way back to, some of them to the Revolution. I have ancestors that fought in the Revolution. I've got ancestors from both sides of the Civil War. Uh, the Trace regions total 15%, and this is how that's broken down. European Jewish, 4%. Now, you, European Jewish, primarily located in Poland, Belarus, Ukraine, Russia, Hungary, and Israel. Also found in Germany, France, Lithuania, Latvia, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Romania, Bosnia, Serbia, and Estonia. Okay, remember that one is 4%. Okay, then it's 3% Iberian Peninsula. Iberian Peninsula is Portugal and Spain. And it is also found in France, Morocco, Algeria, and Italy. And then there's Ireland. 2% Ireland. Primarily located in Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. Also found in France and England. And then there is Finland, Northwest Russia, primarily located in Finland and Northwest Russia. Also found in Estonia, Latvia, Sweden, and Lithuania. And then there's Europe West. Europe West is showing up 2%, and that's located in Belgium. France, Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. Also found in England, Denmark, Italy, Slovenia, Czech Republic. And then we have Scandinavia, 1%. Primarily located in Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Also found in Great Britain, France, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, and the Baltic States, and Finland. 
I really don't even know why they put that on there because it's so meager, 1%. And then Europe East, less than 1%. And it primarily located in Poland, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Austria, Russia, Hungary, Slovenia, Romania, Serbia, Ukraine, Belarus, Moldova, Lithuania, Latvia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Croatia. Also found in Germany, Montenegro, Albania, Kosovo, Macedonia, Estonia, and Bulgaria. So let's recap that. My, I have 2% uh, Central Asia, 98% Europe, and here's the breakdown of Europe. 83% Great Britain, 4% European Jewish, 3% Iberian Peninsula, 2% Ireland, 2% Finland, Northwest Russia, 2% Europe West, 1% Scandinavia, and less than 1% Europe East. Okay, now I'm going to give you my father's. Give me a minute to pull this up. Now, it's not a surprise to me at all about the countries that were included. What is really blew my mind was the percentages, the difference in percentages from my father and I. Because I've always been taught that you get 50% of your DNA from your mother and 50% of your DNA from your father. Well, mine didn't quite come out like that. Now, I wasn't able to do my mother's DNA because she has a problem salivating. She has a condition where she had to have uh, radiation treatment and it kind of burned out her salivary glands and they're, re they're still recovering. So we couldn't get hers. But uh, I'm about to give you my father's. Now, my father, we're just going to call him dear old dad. Dear old dad is 2% Central Asia, just like mine. 98% Europe, that's no surprise. <clears throat> and the breakdown is a little surprising. His is 53% Europe West. Now if you remember it, mine was like 2%. And mine was 2% Ireland. His is 32% Ireland. And he's got 13% trace regions. Now here's the breakdown of his trace regions. 4% Great Britain. If you remember, mine was 83% Great Britain. His is a mere 4%. That's kind of hilarious to me. We both had the same amount of European Jewish, 4%. Uh, I had 1% more Iberian Peninsula. He's got 2%, mine was 3%. And he, both share the same Europe East, 1%. Or maybe it was, maybe I had 2%. Scandinavia, less than 1%. And then less than 1% Finland, Northwest Russia. That is just hilarious to me. So I guess we can tell where most of my DNA came from. It came from my mother. Now I was very fortunate. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to tell you how many matches I got. I mean this, I had a lot done on my family tree because I've been working on it for since like 1998. Okay, you've heard the breakdown between my father and I, the differences. Now, DNA matches. This is what uh, Ancestry DNA is telling me. Um, that I have 63 shared ancestor hints. 
Now what that means is I share a com I, I share a common relative with each of these 63. I mean I can't share a common relative with a bunch of them, but these 63 we have actually they've done enough work on their end and I've done enough work on my end where we can pinpoint it down to the person that we're both related to and uh, I've got 371 fourth cousins or closer now my dad he had more than I have my dad has uh, now remember this is only one side of my DNA so I can't quite figure out what's going on here my dad has 54 shared ancestor hints. We've got one more than I do. And he's got 403 fourth cousins or closer. Which I find really odd because, yeah, because I've got matches on my dad and my mom's side. But yeah, his is showing more. This doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I'm almost wondering if they made a mistake down there at Ancestry DNA, but I've been thinking I got about, you know, some people use that 23 and Me, and I've been thinking about using the 23 and Me, but I'm not going to pay $200. 23 and Me, you, you used to be able to get the test for $99. Now they've doubled that price because they had some problems, and they've got those problems with worked out, and uh, now they've came now they've come back and they want to charge you double what they did before and i'm not paying that i mean i just simply refuse to pay that much so i guess i'll be waiting until they drop the price again if you've ever thought about having your dna tested i encourage you to do it ancestry.com sometimes you can get the test for like they just had a special for 79 dollars for members and they, a lot of times they'll run it like close to holidays, they'll run it for like 89 bucks. Let's see what it's going for today. There's no special going on right now, so to have it, to order it and have it delivered, it's $108.05. Now there's no charge to the, when you, to, after you take the test, there's no charge to mail it back in. It comes in a prepaid uh, mailer and you just turn it, you just uh, put it back in the box, and they give, provide you with this little box, and you put the vial in the little box, and you send it on its way. They say it could take up to six weeks, but it's never taken me that long. I did my daughter's, and hers came back, uh, man, the, hers and my father's, it was less than three weeks for both of them. It was less than two weeks for mine when I originally did mine. So I encourage you to have yours run. If you have any questions about your DNA or, you know, you just want to find out what mixture you are, I encourage you to do it because it's not that expensive.